What's going on guys and welcome back to my channel for yet another episode of this Pentagon Challenge. Today we have the opportunity to retain our CAF Confederations Cup. We are back in the final yet again. We have been dominating things in the league. This isn't the competition that we need to win in Africa. However, retaining it will give us a massive boost going into next season. Oh, and before I forget, we're still unbeaten. Let's get into it. So then guys, this is where I'm going to draw your attention. First of all, this is where we're going to start things. We are on the club info screen. As you can see, we are doing relatively well. This kind of gives you a little bit of a flavor of pretty much everything. Um, but the main thing I want to draw your attention to, guys, is this right here. Um, my managerial stats for Kaiser Chiefs, 66 games played, 66 games won. I've definitely landed on my feet here, guys. Don't, don't get me wrong. I understand Kaiser Chiefs powerhouse in South Africa. I fully understand that. Oh, we are absolutely flying. Um, I, I can't believe how well our time in Africa has gone thus far. 100% um, win ratio, 228 goals scored, 24 goals conceded. Um, obviously, it all comes down to the team and how we are doing on the field. Um, but I think we've assembled an absolute juggernaut for the continent. Obviously, don't get me wrong, if this team played my Santos team, they get blown out. But it's a very interesting scenario. We've got we've got the setup. We've got the good facilities. We've got the good stadium. We we've got like look at this. We've got a eighty seven and a half thousand capacity stadium. It's just crazy. It is just crazy. Um. So I'll go back over to the schedule and I'll show you guys what you've missed since you were last with me. Um. I need to find the game that you were last with me for. The Sundowns here. So you guys saw us ten man. 10 man Kaiser Chiefs get the victory over uh, the Sundowns away from home as well, which was uh, very, very positive. Uh, we did manage to finish the, uh, the month of March um, with the game against Amazulu, Amazulu with the 6 0 victory. Uh, we went another month without conceding a goal. Um, I don't know what it is. Since we brought in this new goalkeeper, Palmer, um, whilst not being exceptional, just being competent is all I need from my defensive line, just because for the most part, we're just blowing teams out at the other end. Um, as I said, we took on Mimosas in the uh, CAF Confederations Cup quarter final stage of the team from the Ivory Coast. 8-0 um, on aggregate uh, to demolish them. JDR Stars, the team that we were playing in the Ned Bank, um, they are from the division below. We beat them 6-0, as you kind of would expect. Um, Tux FC beat them 3-1, Cape Town City 5-0, Cotton Sport 4-0, uh, Cape Town Spurs again in the Ned Bank semi-final, uh, beat them 3-0 again, uh, Cotton Sport 3-1 in the second leg of that one, um, so winning the tie 7-1 uh, on aggregate, and then we just played this team here, Stellenbosch FC, uh, they're in the relegation zone in South Africa, as you can see, um, another comfortable 2-0 victory, we've kind of rotated a little bit in that game. Um, because of this cup final, whilst we are in it, I do want to win it. Um, so it's going to be interesting to see how we get on. Obviously, we do have the Ned Bank Cup final coming up as well. Um, and in some of these games, I'm not sure which one, probably the one against Super Sport United will actually be the one that will determine whether or not we win the league. Um, I will show you the league super quick. I think it's only a formality. We are currently eight points clear um, of Super Sport United. Um, but now we do have three games in hand where we are playing in these cup competitions and the continental competitions. Um, the league matches keep getting moved. Um, I would say I think it's a formality at this point. Uh, we are currently eight points clear. Um, if we win our three games in hand, there's nothing to suggest that we wouldn't. Um, 17 points is is the gap and they're not closing 17 points so that's 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 basically that's basically the league done and dusted i'd say um so i don't actually know where i would bring you back to be perfectly honest but before we get carried away this is the competition screen as you can see we've basically wrapped up the premier league we've won this trophy we've won these two here we're in the two finals either side this could be 
the most successful season I have ever had in a football manager save. Um, so let's let's do a little bit of recon on this team. So we are playing a team from Algeria. If we go into their senior squad, this is how they've been getting on in the CAF Champions League. So they've come through the preliminary rounds, same as us. Um, they won that one relatively comfortably. Taking on Vita Club um, in the first knockout round. They actually... What? First round? How did they go through? They lost 3-1. And then drew 1-1. One, one. How have they gone through here? I'm so confused. But then they've gone through. Then they're in the group. They've played Cape Town Spurs. They lost to Cape Town Spurs in the group, guys. So they lost twice to Cape Town Spurs in the group. But I don't even know how they've got there with that result, with those results against Vita Club. Hmm, interesting. But... They've been okay since uh, they've come through games against Raja Casablanca, who are from Morocco, and uh, this team, another Algerian team. So we are in the final. They have lost to Cape Town Spurs, so we know the sort of level that they are at. Um, they've got a couple of couple of players here. Um, interesting looking at this guy, potentially. Looks like a very solid left back. Um, but you'd like to think that we have the ability to get through if we go into our schedule and i'm going to filter it just by take all the competitions out and let's just have a look at the confederations cup as you can see we have been rampant we have conceded one two three four goals in this competition so far this year and we've put teams to the sword four one two nil four nil six nil four nil two nil four one five one jesus we've absolutely annihilated the competition going into the knockout stages absolutely blitz the quarterfinals and the semi-finals all ready for today's final so we go into our tactical meeting we will make those two changes suggested by the assistant manager and then this is going to be the team we've got a couple of injuries at the moment uh maya the right back is actually injured um and abrahams is tired and has a slight knock does he yeah, completes rehabilitation in four days, as is uh, Vushi on, who would play on one of the flanks for us. Um, the man coming in from Sporting, we don't need to rush him back. He's got 22 goals and 13 assists this season. He is a key man for us. Um, he's not fit for this final. We're not going to rush him back. So this is the team. Palmer, Johannes, uh, Nathani, Bad Boy, Sam, Fali, this dude who I can never say his name, Sifama, uh, Mokwena, uh, Undo. And Miller, obviously, up top. Miller has been fantastic for us this year. 36 goals for this man. Uh, 36 goals and 10 assists in 43 appearances. He has been very good. He still doesn't enjoy big matches. So it's going to be interesting to see if he does turn up here. He's got a cap for South Africa now. And he's wanted by Super Sport United. Well, we're definitely not going to let him go to Super Sport United. We're not going to let him go to one of our rivals. We've got options on the bench. One sh massive shout out again to Alex Palmer. He's come in from Celtic. Uh, 20 games for us, 16 clean sheets. I mean, is he a superstar goalkeeper? No. Do I need him to be a superstar goalkeeper? Again, not really. I just need him to do his job. And he's been doing fantastically well for me in those positions. So we will submit this team and we will get into the CAF Confederations Cup final for the second year in a row. Um, we are looking pretty strong here. We will go into the dressing room, go straight out there and carry on where you finish from the last match. I did notice that Palmer and Johannes did do very, uh, responded very well, responded positively to that. We are in the black and yellow. They are in the all white. Can we retain this trophy for the second year in a row? Five minutes gone. Opening exchanges relatively cagey. We've got a decent amount of the possession as you kind of would expect. And here we come then. First highlight of the game. Throw in for us. In from the left hand side into undo gives it away we win it back no we don't they get the ball and they are able to clear it further down the line bad boy into sam then up the line to undo looks like undo is going to be a key man for us then we spray it all the way out to sam on the left hand side back to undo cross comes over they get the initial danger clear but we go again this is what this team's very good at passing 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 into sifama into mcquena into miller the man who doesn't like big games, maybe this isn't classed as a big game. 
But the man of the moment is Miller again, bagging yet another goal for this team. 13 minutes, it didn't take long in this final. Pass, 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 and pass some more. Stefano with the one into McQuena, back to Fali, into Miller. Easy on his left foot, calmly strokes that one past the goalkeeper. We are in a very good position already against a team that is playing a flat 4-4-2, which in theory should see us have a lot of the ball. Sifama then with this corner gets the initial danger clear and who's going to keep this one going, keep this attack going. This is what this team does so well, just recycles the ball and doesn't panic, just stays on the ball, makes their space and the space as a rule does come. Um, so Fali on the edge of the penalty area, into Mokwena, into the penalty area, gets it back, goes out to Johannes on this right-hand side. He's got so much space. Mokwena, 2-0. Boom. Egon Johannes with the assist. Skipper Supremo. Lovely move from us. Two goals inside 25 minutes. We are flying, guys. Doing so, so well. Again, Mokwena, not necessarily someone who plays an awful lot for us. Johannes is just in acres of space down here. The fullback doesn't track him. Uh, the, sorry, the wingback does it. The Midfielder doesn't track him. The fullback goes out, gives the space to McQuayna, fires it in. That's a man who's leaving us, but has scored in this cup final. Sam with the throw. Looks like we are going to absolutely dominate this cup final. Into the central midfield spots. McQuayna out to Sam on this left-hand side. Again, the fullbacks have got acres of space here. Edge of the penalty area. Strike, two, three, boom. This guy, right, every time I record a game, it feels like he scores a long range worldy and i love bringing it to you we go three nil up on inside half an hour um as i as kind of expected we are the better team here acres of space and that is a fantastic fantastic goal from our central midfielder there he that's where the 4-4-2 just doesn't work against us um the flat lines in between the defense and the midfield you don't have anyone sat in between to stop these runners from midfield we go three nil up we're coasting, guys. We are coasting to another um, continental trophy, our second in two years at Kaiser Chiefs. We've got a free kick here. I think it's going to be Miller taking it. It is. Takes it direct. <laughs> we go four goals to the good in this final. Miller's second of the game. He has the ability to put these free kicks in the back of the net, and that is another good one. Goalkeeper should probably get there. Doesn't. We're 4-0 up, guys. Um, the opposition have had one shot. It's, fun. it's been off target. 42% of possession. I don't see them coming back into this. Um, delighted. What else is there to say, guys? We are delighted. 4-0 up at, ha at halftime in a Continental Cup final, no less. Obviously, this isn't isn't a massive one in terms of the grand scheme of things if you compare it to the Copa Libertadores or the Champions League. This isn't even the biggest uh, Continental Cup competition in Africa. However, we can only win what competitions that we are putting ourselves. And obviously, we need to finish inside that top two in the league to guarantee that CAF Champions League position for next season. Um, we built a very good team here. It'd be interesting to see what the budget is for us next year and see if we lose anyone. Sifama goes down inside the penalty area. Looks like this is going to be a penalty. I think it will be Miller taking the penalty to secure a hat-trick. He was already the top goal scorer in this competition. And I'd be very surprised if it wasn't a penalty. Here comes the referee from checking VAR. And he says, penalty awarded to the Kaiser Chiefs, and Miller will be the one to take it for his hat-trick in this final. Goes relatively down the middle, goalkeeper dives the right sort of direction, scores his 39th goal of the season. That is his hat-trick. As I said, he is wanted by a team in Holland. Um, no, sorry, he is wanted by Supersport United. He is definitely not going there. Um, the team's in Holland, though, definitely circling around some of my players nonetheless. I expect to lose some of these boys. But hopefully I don't lose them all. Um, so 20 minutes of this game to go. I am going to make some subs, actually. Um, who is tired? And do is tired. Let's bring on the gift that keeps on giving. McQueen is tired as well. Uh, let's bring on marketing. And anybody else? So Farmer actually having won a penalty isn't actually playing at his best level. We will keep Miller on to get his man on the match, no doubt, with his hat trick. We will change up the three behind him, though just to potentially maybe give him another chance. Miller robs the ball here. 
He's got an overlapping run, a whole midfield push up as a unit. Fally into the man who strikes the long ranges, McQuena, and do. And he scores just before he is about to go off. 6 0 up inside 70 minutes. Uh, we will continue with the tactical changes. Their 4 4 2 has just been atrocious. It's not worked. We are the better team by a country mile, restricting them to just not really having any shots. In comes the cross. We scored another one. Gift is on uh, Mutopia. Mutopa. 7 um, 0, 75 minutes. Um, kind of not what you expect for a Continental Cup final. Guys, I cannot say. I'm running out of adjectives to say how good this team is. Um, people will probably think I'm save scrubbing. I'm really not. Just playing through the games. And the ones that you're seeing on camera are just sort of an explanation of how good we are in terms of the continent of Africa. As I said, don't get me wrong. If we play teams in Europe, we get dominated. The level of player isn't there but in terms of what is available on the continent of Africa, I think we are the best team there. If we were in the CAF Champions League, I think we would have won it this year. Alas, we weren't because of league positioning last year. When we came to the club, they were in a bad state. We've won the CAF um, Confederations Cup for the second year in a row. We've done all we can, guys. We win what is put in front of us. And unfortunately, by winning this, you don't get qualified into the CAF Champions League. That will be... For next season we go into the dressing room congratulations boys seven nil in the cup final is just staggering you, you you just can't there's just nothing to say guys we are just that damn good so in terms of things we go into the inbox we get some more money victorious kaiser chiefs uh, celebrate famous treble we're doing well as you can see we've won that uh two years on the spin now and uh we lift the CAF Confederations Cup, absolutely smashing it. Um, Miller getting a 9.6 for his hat-trick. Alex Palmer's happy, which is good. He's been solid enough for us. We win it back-to-back. -back. Um, we've got a couple of players who are missing things. That's not a problem. We have the little chat with Miller saying well done to him. The collective bonus is paid out. As I said, guys, we go into the competitions. All you see, left, right and centre, winner, winner, winner chicken dinner we are smashing it we've got the ned bank cup final we've got the league basically sewn up um, i don't know where i'm going to bring you back guys um if we filter in all the competitions let's take a look at all this green okay so we've just won the cup final what i'll probably do guys is i'll package up what i think will be on um, the final sort of episodes of this season when we can ultimately win the league and lift the league crown and also i'll show you the net bank cup final just in case we can complete a massive sweep of every single competition that we are in but that is where I'm going to leave things for today, guys. If you have enjoyed today's video, don't forget to drop a like on it down below. We are dominating in South Africa. And subscribe if you are new around here already because we've got the CAF Champions League coming up hopefully next season. It's going to be a wild ride at Kaiser Chiefs. Hopefully, I'll see you for another episode of this very, very soon. Take care, guys. See you soon.